focus of this YouTube video is grass foraging. We will follow Gunter Schutzer Agricultural Service's entire harvesting team and show you the current most powerful series-built agricultural machine in the world. We'll also turn our attention to the topic of feed quality and pay a visit to a dairy farm during their second cut. On the silo, you'll see an enormous silage distributor from Mammut. We'll also be accompanying the team from Gunter Schutzer Agricultural Services for the day on two jobs in the Altmark region, just north of Magdeburg in Saxony-Anhalt. On this occasion, we were able to film the new Krona Big M450, a powerful new addition to the agricultural contractor's fleet this year. It's early June and the team has been given the green light to mow the first cut on these fields situated in a biosphere reserve. Depending on the field location, different conditions apply to how the field is farmed, taking into account the breeding and rearing seasons of the animals there. Drones are also used to save forms, and slurry can only be spread in certain areas. The Big M has a working width of 9.9 .9 metres. The self-propelled machine is expected to mow up to 2,500 hectares per year for Gunter Schutze. For this customer, they have opted for a cutting height of 6 to 8 centimetres. It's a good compromise between utilising the full yield potential while also avoiding damage to the sward and minimising feed soil during subsequent rowing up. The forage is spread out broadly on the field with the help of a built-in conditioner. Because this field is farmed more extensively and the crop is largely past its peak, they don't bother leaving it to wilt. Just a few hours after the Big M, Gunter Schutzer brings a four-rotor swather into the field. This machine is the most recent version of the class liner. The top model, the 4900, has a working width of up to 15 metres. Setting the right working depth has a big impact on the amount of feed soiling that occurs. Shortly after this, the harvesting crew also springs into action. The Krona Big X1180 was built in 2020, and at 1156 horsepower, it is currently the most powerful series-built agricultural machine in the world. As a result, its core competency is maize harvesting with a 14-row maize header. However, Gunter Schutzer is also happy to dispatch the forage harvester to his grass forage customers who prefer a very short cutting length. In this case, they're bringing in the harvest for a biogas plant, whose operator specifies cutting lengths of 7 to 8 millimetres. A fair amount of engine power is still required, even for grass harvesting. At this rate, around 85 tonnes of material are loaded per hour. Gunter Schutzer's fleet comprises 12 tractors, 4 agricultural trucks, 2 self-propelled slurry tankers, 4 combines and 4 forage harvesters. Grass foraging and maize harvesting make up around 40% of the company's turnover. A second harvesting crew is also hard at work today, bringing in the second cut for a farmer. Over at the customer's farmyard, it's the first day at work for the new Silo Fox Coloss Drum Silage Distributor from Mammut. The name says it all. With a drum diameter of 1.48 meters and a width of 2.9 meters, it is currently the largest drum distributor available on the market. Mounted on the class Zerion, the Silo Fox Coloss now has to prove its worth. Every hour, the removal team delivers 60 to 80 tons of harvested material to the silo. Mammut is a second generation mechanical engineering company that has been building silage distributors since 1996. They also manufacture other implements for silage removal, such as shear grabs, shear buckets, and silage grab buckets. 
With around 1,000 dairy cows, dairy farmer Jens Dusser is one of the agricultural contractor's biggest customers. On his farm, the average annual milk yield per cow is 10,500 litres. The high quality of the feed ration has a big impact on the health of his animals and their high milk yield. Grass silage, including lucerne, makes up 30 to 40 percent of the ration. Grass forage is harvested up to four times a year on the Deuce dairy farm. For each cut, they have around 350 hectares to cover over two long harvesting days. The agricultural contractor is solely contracted to carry out the foraging and compaction work. On this farm, they believe that having their own mower combination, rake and tedder, is key to achieving the optimum timing for the cut, and therefore the ideal dry matter content for making forage. Getting the harvest timing right is always a game of chance, due to the weather and the variations within fields. The goal is to bring in the harvest at a dry matter, or DM, content of 33 to 35%. If this value is significantly higher than 40, they can expect energy losses in the feed. The class Jaguar is seven years old. For this customer, they are chopping at a theoretical cutting length of 40 to 80 millimetres, depending on the DM content, among other factors. Ultimately, the DM content is significant for the agricultural contractor, as well as for the farmer, because contractors generally charge their vehicles out by the tonne. In this second cut, they're very happy with the three and a half tons of dry matter being harvested per hectare. The yield from the first cut was slightly higher, but the increased lack of rainfall in the summer is causing more and more problems for subsequent cuts. Often, silo construction on farms is something that gets neglected during grass foraging. It's important to strike the right balance between the pickup rate and the capacity of the roller vehicle on the clamp. That's why on this farm, one tractor and silo roller is dedicated purely to heavily compacting the silage on a continuous basis. The Zerian takes care of shoveling the silage onto the clamp. At 23 tonnes, however, it's also perfect for compacting the silage heap. Kremaika, the company that owns the Zerian, operates its own arable farm and helps Gunter Schutzer Agricultural Services with silo construction. The Silo Fox Coloss silage distributor from Mammut reaches a working width of up to 3.7 metres, thanks to its swivel range of 40 centimetres to the left and right. The large swivel range, which is made possible by the implement's close proximity to the three-point linkage, helps the driver to achieve a good shape along the silo wall. And finally, to compact it using a large Zerian. Any residual pockets of oxygen, even in this area, lead to fermentation failure and feed losses. Almost all of Gunter Schutzer's silage trailers operate without metering rules. According to the owner, this increases their payload, reduces servicing work and accelerates unloading. The Silo Fox Coloss is now used to spread the forage in thin, even layers. You'll find lots more harvesting videos from Europe and beyond on our YouTube channel. Finally, you can find all our independent documentaries about farming around the world at www.farmworld.net.